Hey folks, Sean here with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness. This, this is one I've been holding off on for a while, just because I wanted to you know, be able to really savor it when I finally dove in. The Dogfish Head, this is a reissue of a uh, long dormant offering, Squall IPA. Which, uh, they quit brewing oh, between three and five years ago. In fact, the, uh, the new bottle has actually undergone an upgrade from the previous one. You know, what I'm holding uh, right here, original design, new design right here. It's a very citrusy-centric beer. Utilized uh, three different hops, which I will go into in a second once I've got the pour done. Uh, people who regularly watch these videos know I sometimes mess up the head when I use the trusty IPA glass, which is nevertheless the one to use when you really want to get that flavor going. So let me check the stats here really quick. So yes, this is basically an unfiltered double IPA brewed with three types of malts as well as uh, dry hopped with Simcoe, Amarilla, and Palisade hops. This uh, also clocks in at a very hefty 9% alcohol by volume. So between that and the size of the bottle it comes in, you definitely don't want to drive after imbibing in this one. So, let's see. This is what I like about dogfish. They always give you lots of info. Let's see. Use a process to naturally carbonate. It's definitely carbonation healthy. So, you take in the aroma. Strangely enough, kind of a dry note coming off on the nose. Light bit of citrus, uh, or citrus character. Citrix. Not at work right now. A dive in though, taking the uh, taking the taste. I think I got a little beer in that, not foam. Very nice. Um, definitely not a sticky mouthfeel on this. It's um, got a surprisingly dry tone to it. Definitely, uh, definitely a distinctive citrus or citrus note without um, being overpowering. Uh, the hops are there, but they've definitely balanced this one out nicely so that it's not overpowering. It's not, you know, it's not nowhere near that piney tone that you would have with uh, something with like a boatload of Cascade hops, hops for example. But, uh, it's definitely as good as I remember it. So, gonna. Do a little more bibane and uh, give you the wrap up in a bit when I've had more time to process the flavor. Catch you in a bit. Cheers. Let's see. Yeah, the, the final verdict on this one's not really going to be that big a shock. It's um, it's dogfish, therefore it's outstanding. Um, you know, e even though the synopsis um, that the brewer brewer itself. Um, described doesn't contain this. Um, for me, there is a distinctly kind of grainy note to this thing, particularly at the finish. It's not, uh, I mean, they talk dry hopped. It definitely fits the bill on that. Not sticky. Um, just extremely good, clean finish. The, the ever so slight hint of pine, you know, at the end, and that again, this is why I love to have the beers uh, slowly. I'm at this point, I'm quite convinced, you know, as the beer warms, top notch. So, and there it is, just you know, dry, clean, smooth. Typical uh, high-end offering from Dogfish Head. Yes, cheers. 
So once again, Squall IPA. This one, uh, I got this particular bottle at State Line Liquors down in Maryland as of last week and was also at uh, Beer Store Malvern. So, um, like I said, first time this one's been out by Dogfish in uh, at least the last couple of years. I don't know if this is going to be something they brew um, on even a semi-regular basis going forward. So I would say go out and get it while you can. You know, definitely worth the uh, worth the time, the trip, and the uh, fifteen or so dollars you're going to drop for a bottle of it. Trust me, worth it. So till next time, this is Sean. Cheers.